Hi everyone, it's Corey from Linda's Electric Quilters, and today we're going to look at the three different transfer pattern to boundary options that you have in Creative Studio. If you've ever noticed, there's a little arrow on the side of your transfer pattern to boundary icon, and we're going to take a look at what they do. That's all coming up and more today. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and look at the different options that are shown in your transfer pattern to boundary section. So right over here, it's your second icon from the left, um, and I'm doing this with my stitcher connected, but you can also do this in standalone mode. Um, there is a little arrow that points down on the right hand side, and I'm sure if you've ever wondered what that is, we're going to go ahead and click into that and see. If you click into that, you get a drop-down menu, and there's three different options. One is standard, which is what they all the machines are set to when they are shipped. Um, so I'm sure that's what you use almost every day. Um, that's standard, so we're going to look at what those mean. Um, you have stretch, um, which is both the stretch and the squeeze were introduced when Creative Studio 6 came out. And the stretch is going to more, more or less, kind of what it says, stretch the pattern out to fill the block that you have. In squeeze, we're going to see what squeeze does. Um, I don't find myself using squeeze a lot because it's very um, interesting, I would say, um, in what you can get. But you can use squeeze and really make some interesting patterns if you have the right pattern and the right size block. So we're going to go ahead and dive into the standard, which is what you're normally used to seeing, but we're going to go ahead and show that one. So I'm going to make sure standard is checked and selected. So I'm going to click on my first square boundary here, and I'll zoom in just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer the pattern to the boundary using standard. And you'll get the look that you're used to seeing most often is just filling it out all the way. Um, and I do have my freeze aspect on with my patterns. And I also have in my controller definitions, I have my margin set to zero. Um, so it is filling out the block completely. It's not leaving a quarter of an inch spacing like it normally does. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my triangle, transfer it and it'll pop in right here and I'm going to click on my octagon and transfer that. So what you're normally used to seeing with the standard, you'll just come in, you can fiddle with it a little bit to get the right look that you want to fill it out completely. We'll go ahead and move on to stretch. So with stretch, I'm going to click on my arrow, click stretch. I have my first uh, pattern selected that I or pattern excuse me boundary selected that I want to work with so if I click my transfer pattern to boundary I can see that it's going to stretch this block out this it left the left hand and the left hand side over here it left that flat because I had a flat line um, but it's trying to stretch it to fill up this block so I'm going to come over here to my octagon and I'm going to stretch that so I'm going to transfer that one pattern to boundary and that's actually a very unique look. I actually kind of like that look. It would be good on um, a quilt that I had a block like this. And so using uh, my pattern, using the stretch, it just fills out that block all the way and kind of manipulates the pattern, reshapes it, as you will, uh, to fit in the boundary that you have. So we're going to work on this one now. I'm going to transfer that in. And so with the octagon, it's kind of filling out the shape of this. Um, to give it a, um, a new look for you. So let's go ahead and move on down to squeeze. So like I said earlier, squeeze is very interesting. You can get some unique looks for sure. So let's go ahead and change our transfer pattern to boundary option to squeeze. I have this boundary selected. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer that in. And we can see with, like I said, it gives you a very interesting, unique look. Um, it is m filling in that boundary all the way and squeezing it all together. Um, it will definitely reshape the pattern, um, so you will get a different look. But they are fun to play with. The squeeze is very fun to play with because if you get the right um, pattern with that right block and squeezing it, then you can actually get a really nice design. And I'm just going to take this last one. 
It's just going to squeeze that right in there and make it fit the way it needs to. Thank you for joining me today and learning about the three different options that you have in your transfer pattern to boundary. I'll see you next time. Remember, keep calm and Statler rolling.